Georgie Lockie, that's all in sport. Have a good weekend. You too. You too. Thanks, Thank you, Jono. Well, the weekend has arrived. Josh has all the weather details next. It's the religion that worships pasta and encourages the wearing of colanders. We look at the church at the Flying Spaghetti Monster tonight at 6.30. It's time to check the weather and Josh, how is the weekend looking? Good evening, Lachlan. A wonderful weekend is on the way. It's the only way to describe it. Southeast Queensland absolutely turning it on at the moment. We'll get to that detailed forecast in just a few moments. Of course, we're back live here at Jupiter's Gold Coast. It is Summer Surf Girl 2016. Now, joining us is actually the winner from last year, Tiffany. Welcome to 10 Eyewitness News and thanks for joining us. In terms of this competition, it's a fantastic one. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, it's a great program. It's all about celebrating women in surf life saving. Definitely not a beauty pageant. All of these ladies are qualified surf life savers who volunteer at our beaches every week. Um, got club captains, patrol captains, so they all play a really pivotal role in their clubs. It's about um, community awareness, raising the profiles of their surf club and raising much needed funds for their clubs. Now they've been doing a fantastic job. In fact, raising funds over the last 10 months and five of these girls are from surf clubs north of Mackay, which is fantastic. Now, of course, you being the winner from last year, do you have any last minute advice to the girls? I uh, just hope they enjoy it, soak it all in, it goes really quickly and just be really proud of what they've achieved for their clubs because they've done an amazing job. They certainly have and of course all the funds go to things like buying vital life-saving equipment so it's a great cause and let's now check the weather at your place and first of all head to the satellite picture in and across parts of Australia on this Friday evening and once again we've got extensive cloud over WA and South Australia, odd shower through areas of the Cairns coast. On the synoptic chart and a strong cold front will crash into the southwest of WA bringing severe weather conditions tomorrow. Now on the rain chart and possible heavy falls on the way for the North Tropical Coast. In fact over the next four days accumulated rainfall totals over 200 millimetres. Capital cities tomorrow, Sydney, Melbourne and Adelaide looking fine and partly cloudy. Perth will see rain. For Queensland we're looking at moderate to heavy falls over the peninsula and about the North Tropical Coast. A slight to medium chance of a shower elsewhere over the northern interior north of about Century Mine to Mackay. Fine and mostly sunny elsewhere. For the southeast, partly cloudy, the chance of a shower. Overnight temperatures fall into between 9 and 15 degrees. This was surface paradise earlier today on the Golden Sunshine Coast, easterly swell at around one metre with winds from the southeast. Brisbane tomorrow, fine, partly cloudy, temperatures remaining above the May average and on Sunday, staying fine as well. Plenty of sunshine lasting into early next week. We should start to see, however, a drop in the temp temperatures from around about Wednesday. Well, that's it tonight from Jupiter's Gold Coast. We wish all the girls the best of luck for Summer Surf Girl 2016. Georgie and Lachlan, it's a pretty hard job this weekend, but Someone's got to do it. And you do a great job, and so do the girls on our beaches. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> but that is 10 Eyewitness News for now. We'll be back tomorrow at 5. Family Feud is next. On behalf of the team, have a great weekend. Good night. Good night. <laughs>